Hello gentlemen. Recently I came back from Nepal and um, there was one big thing I noticed. Leading up to my trip to Nepal, I considered taking a pre-prepared topic with me to vlog about while walking around on my holiday, but it seemed contrived to do so, and I'm so, so glad I didn't, because my senses took in so much more by just enjoying the moments I was in lucidly, rather than being in my head, filming. Creatives and thinkers often lose out on moments in life because we're off somewhere in our heads. I'm guilty of this often myself, and in short, I didn't want to do that on my holiday, trying to relive my trip after I got back, you know, in retrospect, as I watch footage like this on my computer. What a waste. In essence, it's looking at photographs on food instead of having tasted the food while you were there. It's similar to a dad that was never there for his son and now after his kid has all grown up, he's now looking through old photographs regretting not being there in the past. I've talked about a similar topic, about the fraud of trying to relive experiences after they've happened in the past. In my previous video, There Is No Re-Experience, link below. Living and being tortured through mental snapshots of the past. Do not do this, gentlemen. And the most notable thing I pondered on my trip was, why do vacations feel so good when you're there? Was it just escapism? Perhaps, but escape from what? And then it occurred to me. It occurred to me why holidays feel so good. Holidays are freeing and liberating because you've escaped time. As I sat there in Kathmandu, I realized I had no past there. I had no future. That, that is why I felt good on my vacation. There was no responsibility. You have no history there and you're leaving soon. So a future doesn't exist there either. How fucking liberating. Any wonder women love holidays. There's no responsibility at all. And there's no shame in it either. Women frequently indulge in their eat, pray, sex holidays, as do men, sure. Hello, Thailand. And this no responsibility on holidays and vacations is having only the moment to be able to live in. It's quite meditative when you think about it. So this, this is the essence of the feel-good aspect of vacations and holidays that I came to realize. Where you have no past or future. It is literally always only now on a holiday, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. Ponder that thought, that connection with immediacy. Why do you think so many feel worse on the last few days before the trip ends? They say, oh, I've only got three days left before I have to go back home. It's usually after the halfway point of a vacation that people feel a future start to creep in as they see time running out and they have to go back to what they were probably escaping from on the holiday in the first place. I'm sure there's a parallel to be made for life in general. You know, you get past the halfway point at middle age and you feel time running out. You feel the grave approaching. And in this case, the grave approaching is your dead life back home after your holiday. Anyway, after this trip, I was able to understand more clearly the mechanisms of why the majority of people who work in cubicles feel the need for regular vacations, where they unplug and feel human. It's because they miss that feeling of now that they get while on holiday, that they don't get in their day-to-day -day cubicle lives. And I'm not talking about the commercial New Age empty slogans of being the present man. I'm talking about the lack of fear you feel on holiday because you don't fear a future and you aren't haunted by any past. You feel good in the moment because of the lack of fear and anxiety. That is the point. That is the point to remember. 
it's one of the aspects of climbing Maslow's pyramid in fact, discarding those booster rockets as you ascend towards escape velocity. And holidays place us there, up in that stratosphere, however temporarily, as an illustration, I contend, of what we should cultivate more in our day-to-day lives, and not just reserve them for escapist holidays. And I'm not talking about cultivating more holidays, but understanding why you're feeling good on a holiday, and what you can take back with you to your day-to-day life, or how you may need to change your life, perhaps. Do I make sense, gentlemen? To me, holidays are an easy way to format your hard drive, reboot and cleanse. There's almost no conscious internal work required of you. It's a deep effect, but you don't have to do any work on holiday. However, the missed opportunity that I see is most don't investigate why they feel good on vacations. They just try to recreate the moment by repeating holidays over and over again. Working shit jobs to pay for holidays that they have to escape their lives from. They keep going on holidays. They, in effect, repeat the mechanism without understanding themselves in relation to the holiday. Unfortunately, it's easy to do this. And I say unfortunately because I think it would benefit people if they asked themselves why they felt so good on holidays. You know, to bring some of that feel good back home to their pedestrian day-to-day routine lives. As for me, what I came to realize during my trip was, I'm good. Without any bravado, I'm good. Everything's fine in my life by design. And that made me even happier during the trip because of the freedom I felt in that realization. Life's just good. I went in with the right attitude, I think. A yes attitude. I tried the food. Yeah, I got sick. But fuck it, I tasted the moments in front of me and I enjoyed myself. There was no future there. And I recognized that sense of adventure and freedom in me is something I need to keep with me, even when I come back home. Regardless whether I was walking through the mountains in Nepal, or walking down my own suburban street, life is good, and I need to keep that sense of adventure and freedom. And sure, this trip made me appreciate traveling a bit more, but it wasn't like finding religion or finding quote-unquote myself, as that cliche seems for many. I'll paraphrase something Michael Tsarian once said. He said, It's not the experiences themselves that need to be refreshed and renewed, but rather the eyes of the experiencer that need refreshing and renewing. That speaks volumes to me. Or if that doesn't work for you, try the fight club sentiment. You are not your job, you're not your staff, etc, etc. So too, gentlemen, you aren't your experiences. Good or bad experiences. You aren't the experiences you've had. You are the experiencer. And if you can understand that, gentlemen, you may understand the clarity which I came back with after my trip. Make sense of your own life, gentlemen. Later. If you appreciate my content and want to say thanks, you can donate to me via the links below. A massive thanks to the recent donations of people on screen now. You guys are the greatest. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Every bit helps. And let me know if you don't want your name shown on screen when you donate. And finally, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified of my next video if you're still not being notified of my videos, I've outlined some steps in the low bar. Thank you.